today we are going to study topological sorting or topological ordering using source removal technique then we will see an application where topological ordering or sorting is be used so let us start by topological sorting using source removal technique now to understand the working we have to work with an example consider a given graph in this graph we have to generate topological order now find out the vertex which is having in degree 0 now what do we mean by in degree of a vertex if there are any incoming edges to a graph it is called as in degree if there are no incoming edges to any vertex it is said that vertex is having zero in degree similarly if a vertex is having outgoing or outward edges that is called as out degree so if vertex is not having any outgoing edges it is having out degree as zero but here we are only interested in in degree zero vertices now are there any vertex which is having no incoming edges that is what an in degree zero vertex is as soon as we find such a kind of vertex we have to delete them that vertex from a graph and its associated edges and we will keep on repeating this process unless and until graph becomes empty now look at this carefully you have to find out out of this five vertices the graph is just copied now from this graph you have to find out out of these five vertices any vertex which is having no incoming edges start from a are there any incoming edge yes from c yes there is an incoming edge e is also having incoming edge d is also having incoming edge but b is a vertex which is only having outgoing edges and there is no incoming edge so we say that that vertex b is having in degree is equal to 0 so we have found out this vertex then we are going to remove it so as soon as we remove that vertex its associated edges will get also removed now this is my remaining graph from this graph also again find out vertex which is not having any in degree so there is another vertex that is vertex number c which is having no incoming edges that is equal to in degree is equal to 0 now we are going to remove this vertex as well as edges associated with it so vertex a is visited after vertex b see result is getting prepared side by side we are making those directions which are getting visited after the next vertex or after previous vertex next from the remaining graph a vertex which is not having in degree or having in degree is equal to 0 that is vertex b we are going to remove this vertex and its associated edges so vertex c is going to result in graph and we will have an directory from a to b now from the remaining graph the next vertex which is having in degree is equal to 0 that is c which is getting removed and getting added in our result that is from b we are going to visit c now in this graph the only vertex that is left is vertex e so it is not having any in degree that is equal to 0 it is getting removed from a graph and getting added in our result so from c vertex we are going to visit vertex e now our graph is empty so this process of removing must stop here now from given graph the edges are actually serials or generating a serial path so we are going to make that in an order so edges or the resultant vertices have to be sorted in a single order so we will start with vertex b then a followed by b c and at the end e 
This is an equivalent topological order or topological sort of a given graph. Where topological sorting is basically a very first topological sort or ordering application is in scheduling. Whenever the project management or some kind of project is getting prepared, the dependency between the tasks is being generated in a form of graph. But the order in which they have to get completed, they prepare a schedule. Now this schedule is used to find the dependencies as well as the ordering between the tasks. Another application is data processing network. Consider there are n stations over which one data has to go and process itself. So the, over this network, there are some stations which must process the data before it gets processed by some other station. So in those kind of network, we must know from which system to another machine a data will go and get processed itself. So in data processing network, we also need topological sort. Third application is version history or genealogy. If we have a complex graph which shows the ancestor and descendant of a particular seed, in that if we have to find out are there any relation between some ancestor to a particular descendant, then we have to find out a topological sort or a perfect order in which the genes are getting transferred from some ancestor to descendant. So, in order to create also in the version history of software, if software is releasing its versions like 2.1, 2.1.3, 2.4, 5.6, so all these versions are not compulsorily that, that after completion of 2.2.5, 3.1 will start. It might happen some versions are getting get parallel. So we have to keep track of which version is getting prepared after this, which version of a particular software. In that case also, topological sorting will help us. Data compression technique. They are actually processing parts of data in some manner or in some order. So part of data is getting distributed and getting compressed sometimes. Again, they are getting compiled and there are some parts are getting distributed over different different networks and at the end, the compressed data is getting generated. Now, in here, we have to find out the correct order in which data can be processed so that it can be compressed effectively. That is all for today. Thank you everyone for watching this video. This is Munira Topia signing out.